Like any software, the developers of WordPress try to keep it as secure as possible and they're constantly updating that. But there are things you can do to provide extra security for WordPress. The number one of those would be passwording. At every stage, for your hosting account, for your database, and then of course for your WordPress user accounts, make sure you're using strong passwords. Now WordPress provides strength indicators at just about every stage. This is the one in the user profile area, so when you're creating passwords it tells you whether they're strong or not. The trick is you may create a strong password for your client, but you give it to them and then they go and change it to something very straightforward. Please tell them, make sure they follow the strength indicator and use something that is a strong password. Aside from passwords, there are some other things you can do. Keeping WordPress up to date, obviously, is one of them. That makes sure you've got the latest security updates to WordPress. If you're not doing the maintenance for the site, of course, you've got to make it clear to your client to do this. Even if it's not a security update, just get in the habit of updating it regularly. And, of course, keep plugins up to date, too. There are notifications, as we've seen, on the system, but you need to make sure you follow them and actually do the updates. Same with your clients. During the installation process, there are a couple of tips. One, of course, is to not use the name admin for a user, any user at all. Just don't use it because it used to be the default in WordPress, and of course, that's the first thing hackers will try. Another simple thing you can do, what they call security by obfuscation, is during the installation process, right down here where it says table prefix, the default is WP underscore. You can always change that to something else just to try and hide those a little bit. Just make sure you use something very unique to yourself so you're not clashing with plugins or other things that use the database. Another thing you can do during the installation process is move your WP config file now by default it goes in the root directory but you can put it up here so public HTML is my root directory I can put the config file in this area here one directory up it has to be one directory up from wherever you're putting WordPress and then that way WordPress automatically looks for it there if it doesn't find it then it looks in the root directory and that can be helpful Another thing you can do is keep your WordPress config file where it is in the root directory or wherever, but then specify in your HT access file, if you're comfortable working with that, you can specify don't have access to it. Only the server can have access to it. The other one you can try is if you have SSL on your hosting account, WordPress has an automatic login security system. So for example, if you put this, this line right here, put that into your config file, then WordPress automatically creates HTTPS for your login page to secure your password when you're entering it. You can find out more information at places on the internet like the WordPress Codex, which has a whole section about how to keep WordPress safe and many many articles on the internet for that as well. I'll also be talking in our section on plugins later we're going to be looking at plugins for security and these will both check your security and add security to the system so there are many many ways for you to make sure that WordPress stays secure.